What up, what up? I know you already saw the title. You know exactly what we're talking about. And I'm going to make this easy for you. If you came here expecting something, I'm going to go ahead and give you the bottom line up front. A man does not care about what other people think a man is. Okay, so if you came here to sit and listen to me tell you how to be a man, stop it. You have to decide what being a man is. What I am going to do in this video is talk about some things that I personally value and what I think I should do to be a man. If you want to take something from that, that's cool. And inevitably, somebody's going to say, all those things that you listed could be applied to a woman as well. That's just being a decent person. Well, yeah, I think being a man is being a decent person. But I'm not talking to women. I'm talking to men. And I'm a man. So if you want to be heard about it, please don't cry in my comments. I probably won't respond to it. Anyways, let's talk. All right. I'll tell you five things that I think are important to be a good person, to be a good man. And I'll tell you some things that I see on the internet that, uh, I'm not going to lie, they, they, they kind of annoy me. There's a group of men that target other young men and uh, basically sell them dreams about getting certain types of women. But then on the other hand, they preach that we, we need to build community. There's no fathers in the house, blah, blah, blah. But everything that they tell you and everything that they're saying, like, do this and you'll get women, goes completely against these things that they're also so angry about. So one of my first things about being a man is personal responsibility, holding yourself accountable. To be a man, you have to do that. Like, if you don't hold yourself accountable, you're not a man. If nothing's ever your fault, you're not a man. Don't know what you are, but you ain't a man. I can tell you that. You got to hold yourself accountable. Okay? When you do stuff wrong, when you mess up, you got to admit it. And you got to let other people know that you were wrong, too. Because it really doesn't do any good to say, uh -huh, I was wrong, but I'm not going to tell nobody. Or I don't want to admit it to everyone else. Nah, bro. Nah. Moving on. Being okay with who you are. Sticking to your beliefs and your convictions. If that's what you really believe, that's important to me in a man, okay? I don't care what the rest of the world says. If I believe something, if I'm about something, I'm going to keep being about it. And there's really nothing that anyone can do. Besides, <laughs> show me why I shouldn't be like that. Give me some real evidence. Show me that I'm in the wrong. That goes along with the first thing, admitting that you're wrong. And also... It goes on my next point. My next point is to be a man, I think you have to self-reflect. To be a good person, I think you have to self-reflect. I think you have to challenge your own beliefs. If you believe something and you're not willing to challenge it, I don't think you really believe it. I don't think you really believe it. If I say, I really believe that nothing in this world can break my hand. I just I say that. I'm serious. I really believe that. And then someone says, well, let me test this out on it. And I say, no, 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 I believe this. I'm not willing I'm not willing to, to let you hit my hand with something. Not only would I think that I didn't really believe it, uh, just why wouldn't you want to test it out? Why wouldn't you want to strengthen your belief? If I let everyone hit things against my hand and I keep breaking them, I'm, I'm going to be that much more stronger in my faith, right? Like, I let you try to tear me down. I let you try to prove me wrong. And it didn't happen. Now I believe it even harder. If you're not willing to self-reflect, if you're not willing to test out your beliefs, to me, you don't really believe it. Whatever. Next point, number four. Uh, this is going to be like a two-part thing. Not hurting people unnecessarily and helping people when you can. I just don't think it's... I just don't think you're a good person if you hurt people unnecessarily. If you go out of your way to hurt people... And it's not just like a byproduct of something you did and you're like, oh, well, oh, well. If you go out of your way to hurt people, to be mean, if you deny people help when you can help them, I just don't think you're a good person. And you probably could not convince me otherwise, okay? Uh, that kind of goes to my next point. 
building and maintaining a community. So like I said earlier, there's a group of men online. They talk about being alpha males. They talk about maintaining whatever. They, they talk about we don't have community anymore. They don't do anything to build a community. In fact, the stuff that they're doing is the opposite of building a community, okay? If you want to be a man, if you want to be a good person, you have to find like-minded people, positive, <laughs> like-minded people, come together, try to spread that, try to make the world a better place. If you're not making the world a better place, what are you doing? What are you doing? I don't know. When I say community, I'm talking about your immediate family, and I'm talking about stuff outside of that, too. I didn't even say take care of your family because that's just a given to me. That's just... I didn't even think of that because there's no way that I wouldn't take care of my family. Going the extra step to build a bigger community outside of that community, I think that's a little extra, and I think it's important. So, like I said, not caring what people think is the first step. Okay, I can't tell you how to be a man. I can only show you through my action. And like I said, these people online, they're not about what they say. Their actions don't match up to what they're saying. They're telling you there's no more fathers in the house. There's all these single women with kids. That's what they say. And then they're encouraging you to sleep with a bunch of women. Increasing the chance that you might accidentally get one of them pregnant and create a home with no father in it. How does that make sense? How does that make sense to be sleeping around with every woman that you possibly can while also talking about there's no more fathers in the home, these women have sex with everyone, they say stuff like that, and they're contributing to it. If you didn't have sex with women, they couldn't be having sex with everyone. I don't see how that's a complicated subject. Whatever. Like I said, walk what you talk. You feel me? Same thing with community. They're like, there's no community anymore, blah, blah, blah. Bro, you got to have a family. You got to have a family, and you got to bring families together to have a community. These dudes are preaching never getting married. They're like, don't get married. Don't start a family. That doesn't benefit you as a man. And then they're like, there's no communities anymore. They want to tear apart the nuclear family. Bro, you're not even trying to have a family. What are you talking about? What are you actually talking about? Exactly. You ain't talking about shit. So anyway, like I said, I can't tell you how to be a man. I can show you through my actions. Anybody that knows me knows I'm out here trying to help anybody I can. I try to bring people together. When I see people that I know are good people that are trying to do work in this world, I try to bring them together. I say, hey, do you know this dude? He does the same thing as you. Do you know this lady? She does this. Blah, blah, blah. That's what I do. Anybody that needs my advice, I give it to them. Anybody that needs my help, when I can, I help them. And I try to be a good person. That's all I can do. Take care of my family. Take care of the people that ask me for help. When I can help them, and that's all I can do. So I deal with this topic a lot. I got a lot of young clients. And that's the only reason I really know about these these alpha male videos and shit because I have to I have to go inform myself on them so that I can answer my young clients questions because they're like what do you think about this and I'm like <laughs> I've never heard of that <laughs> because only somebody that's not secure in themselves would even be watching a video about how to be an alpha male and how to get girls and stuff like that like bro you're listening to some dude that's like 5'1 that don't really get no girls but he's good at acting and he convinced you on the internet. Do you like, bro? He's sitting around on the internet all day, telling you all of this stuff, bro. He's not. No, stop, stop. So, be secure. Find out stuff about yourself. Go be active. The only way you can learn yourself is through doing. Okay, you can't be sitting in your room all day not doing shit. And then just wonder why you don't know who you are, why you don't have any confidence. Bro, go out. Go do something. Go run. Go try to build something. Make a fucking drawing or something, bro. Like, go create some stuff. Go do stuff. Through that, you'll start to find yourself, right? 
And like I said, be secure and define what you think is a man yourself. You can take stuff, you can listen to other people's ideologies, but at the end of the day, you have to make that decision yourself. My dad showed me how to be a man. My dad did all these things. I listened to the stuff he said, but I watched the stuff that he did. And I said, yo, I want to be like that. You know what I mean? We got some some slight differences, but for the most part, I was like, I want to be like my dad. I saw him do everything that I thought was right. and uh, But still, he couldn't tell me. He just had to show me. If he t- My dad told me, this is what you do to be a man, and he wasn't doing it, I would have been confused, and I wouldn't have listened probably. I would have probably been someone else, you know what I mean? So make that decision yourself. I hope that you took at least one good thing from this video. Like I said, this was intended for young men. If you're a woman, an older man, anybody that's not a young man, I hope you got something from the video. Don't leave me any hate comments. I'm probably going to block you. I don't want to block you for no reason. Don't do that to me, okay? Peace. I'm on the bed. Going to bed. See, I'm sleepy, bro. I can't even talk straight.